Hello, I'm Ginger Nelson and welcome to Tea Time. Today we have Brittany Swing, Swing and Amber Turner on the set with us and they are with the UGA campus here in Tifton. Welcome girls. Thank you. Now Amber, you work at the UGA campus and Brittany, you just graduated. Yes. Amber, can you tell us a little bit about what you do out at the campus? Sure. Uh, I coordinate the academic programs on the campus. Um, the UGA Tipton campus has had academic programs there since uh, 2003, so we're getting ready to celebrate our 10th year of yeah. offering degrees, UGA degrees, to Tipton students. Trying to make it well known. That's right. Because a lot of people, I mean, I know for a long time, I didn't know until we started doing the show and we had y'all on that first time, I didn't even know that we had a campus here in Tipton. That's right. You can get a bona fide UGA degree just like you would earn in Athens without leaving Tifton. Now, what are the majors that are offered out there? We offer four bachelor's degrees. Um, we have uh, agri-science and environmental systems, which is just kind of like a general agriculture degree. We also have agricultural education for someone who's wanting to teach agriculture in a high school or middle school setting. Uh, last year we added agribusiness and this year we added biological science for students who are wanting to go on to professional school like medical, dental, pharmacy school. Now what did you think about the campus here in Tifton? Oh I loved it and when we graduated um, our student speaker um, did a, a she, I thought she did a, a wonderful representation of our class and she allowed each one of us to choose a word um, to, to put on a plaque to give to the campus and um, my word was home because that's exactly the way I felt about the UGA Tifton campus. Um, the professors, the classes themselves, the students, everything. When you went to class every day it was like going and hanging out with your family because <laughs> they're going to tell you what you need to hear. <laughs> and, <laughs> Whether you want to hear it or not. <laughs> right, when you need to hear it. And, um, and they're concerned about our well-being. They want us to be successful. In fact, you know, I graduated, um, goodness, probably almost a month ago now, and um, my professor is still calling me and, and contacting Aww. me about um, you know, job offers and, and helping me in that process. I didn't graduate and then leave me hung to dry. They, they are concerned about not only me graduating, but me being successful in the long run. Now, how many graduated this past May? We had uh, 10 students graduate. 10 students, mm -hmm. well that's good. Yeah. And you're all pretty close. It's kind of like a close-knit family out there. That's right. We have about 50 students on campus with um, our graduate and undergraduate degrees. Um, so everyone gets to know each other and like Brittany said, it is sort of a family environment. Mm -hmm. um, our students go to classes that are about 15 people in a class, so the professors know their name. Um, they can't skip class there. That's right. right. <laughs> not without not without them knowing about it. So um, it is it is a caring environment for the students. Well, one thing you told me, Amber off camera, was um, that the professors out there they actually that is their profession, right? That's right. Um, if you take a soil science class at the UGA Tifton campus, it's going to be taught by a soil scientist. And, you know, same thing for, for every other area. If you take an entomology class, it's going to be taught by someone who works with insects on a daily basis and that's their life. So, um, you're not just learning information from a textbook. Um, like Brittany said off camera, most of our classes don't require textbooks because the information you're learning is just now being generated or is you know too new to go into a textbook it hasn't yet been published so um, so it's very hands-on very cutting edge um, technology well that's what you said you enjoyed most about it out there is that it was all hands-on and you barely ever had a textbook that you had to study from yeah we really in fact I, I didn't have a textbook until I entered into the education prep classes so um, all of the, the farm business management and, and, and all of those classes were, were what the professor himself had done research on. So um, he was telling us all we needed to know without having to, to look in a textbook every day. So we had to take really good notes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, I think that's, that's for most class anyhow. Yes, most classes yes. anyhow. Um, Amber, is, can you tell the people how, if someone is interested in signing up, um, to go to school at UGA, you have to have you have to be a transfer, right? That's right. That's right. Um, students have to have at least 60 credit hours before they can transfer. 
Um, we um, accept students every fall and spring. Um, you have to have uh, at least a 2.8 GPA. Um, a lot of students come from ABAC. You don't have to go to ABAC. You can go come from, you know, Waycross, Bainbridge, Middle Georgia, you know, any other school where you can get your core out of the way. Um, we normally encourage students to obtain their Associate of Science degree before they transfer. It just makes that transfer process easier. Yeah. Um, for the Tifton campus, the deadline is, is July 1st. So if students are interested in attending fall semester, they still have time to apply. The application is online. Students can go to uh, tifton.uga.edu and complete the application there. So if someone lives around in the surrounding counties or in Tifton and they decide that maybe they don't need to move to Athens quite yet and they want to major in something with agriculture, they can call your campus and... That's right. We'll be glad to have them. Be close to home and go home and eat, eat supper with mom and dad <laughs> at night. That's kind of what I did. <laughs> I didn't go very far so that I could come home in the middle of the week and have a good home-cooked meal for my mama. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we do have, um, a lot of our students are from the South Georgia area, but this past year we had several students graduate who were from the North Georgia mountains. Really? Yes, they uh, uh, came to ABAC as a freshman and really liked Tifton, so they wanted to stay in Tifton, even though mm -hmm. Athens would have been closer to their home. Small so, town and that's more right. intimate atmosphere. That's right. They got plugged in here. They got job, you know, part-time jobs here and they mm -hmm. made friends here, so they decided they wanted to stay in Tifton. So, so believe it or not, you know, not all of our students are from Tiff County or from surrounding areas. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. And, and agriculture is so different around the state, so the UGA Tifton campus has has so much to offer agriculturally speaking. They get so much of that hands-on stuff like with row crops and turf grass and all of those things that they wouldn't get on the other campus. Um, so it makes it, it just makes it more special. Mm -hmm. It's just different agriculture across the state. Do a lot of the students have hands-on jobs as they're going to school? Yeah, a lot of students actually work on our campus. Um, we hire more student workers than we have students on our campus, so um, normally they've already been working on our campus before they even become a student there. Mm -hmm. They work under the research scientists in the fields, um, you know, in a gen, different places, so um, there's, there are ample opportunities for mm -hmm. students to work out there uh, while they're going to school. Now, Brittany, you graduated in May. I did. I'm a <laughs> University of Georgia graduate. <laughs> and you received an award. We're going to go to a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about the award that Brittany won or received and, um, and her story behind it. We'll be right back. You get a barrel of fun, yet pretty as a sunset, redhead light wire. Hi everybody, I'm Kevin Sports, singer, songwriter, and host of our show, The Right Place on RFD, inviting you to join me and some of my friends on Saturday, June 29th, in Patterson, Georgia, for the Spirit of Liberty celebration. It's going to be a lot of fun. Come on out and join us. She likes her country and her rocking. Why do savvy builders, quality remodelers, and serious do-it-yourselfers do business with LMC dealers like Short and Paul? Because quality materials, product knowledge, and buying power matters. We're part of a network of 1,200 independent lumberyard locations nationwide with billions of dollars in buying power that allows us to provide the quality products you expect at the competitive prices you deserve. So on your next project, stop by one of our four locations for products that provide solutions. Put our billion dollar buying power to work for you. For over 42 years, Moon's Pharmacy has been committed to providing professional, friendly service, where our pharmacists welcome your questions, offer you overall lower drug costs, and free citywide delivery. While we still believe in good old-fashioned customer service, we also know the importance of staying on the leading edge of pharmacy innovations, such as travel and flu vaccines, custom compounding, and specialty packaging for homebound patients. Choose Moon's Pharmacy. Together, we can make a difference in your health. Hi, my name's CJ. A few years ago, my father became seriously ill. I did what I could do before he passed, but it took its toll. I lost my job, my house. I'm getting back on my feet, but I don't know when there'll be food on the table. How'd I do, CJ? We could be twins. Well, cousins, maybe. 
play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. Good morning, please. Good morning, Kevin. Are you ready to go catch some fish? Yes, sir. Great. I tell you, that's a good looking suit you're wearing, man. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, Frog Dogs has got a suit for whatever you do. I tell you, where's that nephew of yours? I don't know. He's probably on his cell phone texting his girlfriend. So what'd you tell her? You gonna miss it? Yeah, next time you need to find one that likes fish. Frog Talk. Whatever you do, there's a Frog Talk suit for you. Welcome back to Tea Time. We are talking to Amber and Brittany, and they are with the UGA Tifton campus right here in Tifton. And before we went to break, I mentioned that Brittany um, received an award at graduation in May. Amber, can you tell us a little bit about this award that she received? Sure. Uh, the name of the award is the Tifton Campus Student MVP Award. And every year we award it to a senior who exemplifies um, scholarship, professionalism, and service. So, um, and I can say without a doubt that Brittany definitely <laughs> exemplifies all three of those. Um, there, there is a, an award, a cash award that goes along with that that is sponsored by the Georgia Cotton Commission. Mm -hmm. And so um, Brittany was definitely a clear winner for, for that award this year. Were you surprised? I was, I was. <laughs> I, I applied for it and I, I wanted it and um, I just didn't really, I don't know, I didn't, there were so many, um, there was so much that went into applying for the award. I had to have um, recommendation letters and and all of those things and I was, it was right around the time where I was finishing student teaching so I, I wanted I wanted it there was a lot of work that went into it but after I filled it out I kind of forgot about it <laughs> <laughs> so at graduation I was very surprised and it was it was really um, it was really touching to hear um, the the Cotton Commission speak and um, and and to have all of that there on on a day that I was graduating and leaving you know my home the the UGA Tipton campus it was it was very touching now your major was um, agricultural education and I'm gonna let's let's go back because you have a story to tell how you got to where you are today now you started um, an interest in agriculture at what age um, I was in middle school um, I was right around the sixth or seventh grade um, and um, it all kind of stems back to um, my, my parents divorced when I was seven. My dad um, was an alcoholic and he, he left us. And so kind of some of the things that go along with that, um, I developed very poor self-image, had low self-esteem, and didn't really feel like um, I was very good at anything. Mm -hmm. um, we spent a lot of time um, at home by ourselves. My mom went back to school after, after all that and was working full time and, and doing all the things that a wonderful good mother does. Um, but we, um, we kind of weren't able to, to participate in some of the things that other children were participating in. And so um, when I was in middle school, um, they kind of just put you in elective classes and you just, every nine weeks you rotate and um, I was in um, an agriculture class, and my ag teacher um, saw some sort of potential <laughs> in me. Um, I remember um, on the very first day, it was either sixth or seventh grade, he had us come to the front of the class and give a speech about ourselves. That was the very first time I had ever spoke in front of anyone, especially my peers. Yeah. Um, and he wanted to know you know details about who we were and we had to we had to define ourselves and it, it was the very first time that I'd ever done that and and it just kind of grew from there um, my agriculture teacher um, was definitely um, the Lord ordained that and that he would be in my life he um, he's been a mentor all these years um, and it that agriculture class in sixth and seventh grade kind of gave me the ability, it taught me the skills that I needed to be successful in the long run. Um, so the reason I chose agricultural ed education is so I can do the same with other students. I know the impact that an ag ed class can have and if I can do it for one student <laughs> then it'll all be worth it. If you can give that one student what you got yes, at such yes. a young age, then mm -hmm. it would be worth it. Yeah, the, the skills, the, the self-confidence, the, the ability to go into the world and do things 
um, on your own, that independence, all of those things came from agricultural education and FFA. Um, those leadership skills are so important now. Um, didn't seem didn't seem as important at the time, but boy, looking back on it, I, I really can see it. I can see how those those skills helped me be successful at the UGA Tipton campus and, and will help me be successful in a career. So you chose the UGA Tifton campus, but before that you were where? Um, I went to ABAC um, right out of high school. I, I graduated from high school and um, attended ABAC and, um, and then was there for a short time before um, my mother passed away. And so as a result of that, I failed uh, three semesters worth of classes mm -hmm. and so I really didn't um, I didn't think that finishing college was really what I was going to do it, it wasn't an option at the time um, I had to go to work I had to get a full-time job um, but again all of those things just kind of led me to where I am today um, I met my husband um, in the process and very thankful for that um, and it was because of him because of his encouragement and realizing um, without a college degree that I was not doing what I was passionate about. I wasn't doing what the Lord created mm -hmm. me to do. And so um, he encouraged me. I quit my full-time job. We had a complete financial makeover in our home. Yeah. And um, I returned to AVAC. Um, as a result of those three semesters worth of F's, I had a lot of work to do because I wanted to go to the University of Georgia, but I had to have a 2.8 to get in. So, um, so not only did you have to make up those classes, you also had to raise your GPA. I had to make an A in every single class oh that I took. Oh my goodness. Um, including biology and chemistry and trigonometry and all of those really fun classes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was it was really hard. It was but it was so worth it in the end. I learned so much um, about myself. About like when you work hard, when you do what it takes, there's reward that comes. Talk after about it. self confidence and self esteem. Yeah, it really developed. It had to. It had to. That was it was a choice that I had to make. I was either going to do it and and finish or give up and go back to working in a career that I was not happy in. We're gonna go to a quick break and when we return, we're gonna talk more to Brittany and Amber about the UGA Tipton campus. We'll be right back. You get a barrel of fun, yet pretty as a sunset, red head light wire. Hi everybody, I'm Kevin Sports, singer, songwriter, and host of our show, The Right Place on RFD, inviting you to join me and some of my friends on Saturday, June 29th in Patterson, Georgia, for the Spirit of Liberty celebration. It's going to be a lot of fun. Come on out and join us. She likes her country and her rocking kind of way. Why do savvy builders, quality remodelers, and serious do it yourselfers do business with LMC dealers like Short and Paul? Because quality materials, product knowledge, and buying power matters. We're part of a network of 1,200 independent lumberyard locations nationwide with billions of dollars in buying power that allows us to provide the quality products you expect at the competitive prices you deserve. So on your next project, stop by one of our four locations for products that provide solutions. Put our billion dollar buying power to work for you. For over 42 years, Moon's Pharmacy has been committed to providing professional, friendly service where our pharmacists welcome your questions, offer you overall lower drug costs and free citywide delivery. While we still believe in good old-fashioned customer service, we also know the importance of staying on the leading edge of pharmacy innovations, such as travel and flu vaccines, custom compounding, and specialty packaging for homebound patients. Choose Moon's Pharmacy. Together, we can make a difference in your health. Hi, my name's CJ. A few years ago, my father became seriously ill. I did what I could do before he passed, but it took its toll. I lost my job, my house. I'm getting back on my feet, but I don't know when there'll be food on the table. How'd I do, CJ? We could be twins. Well, cousins, maybe. <laughs> Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. Good morning, please. Good morning, Kevin. Are you ready to go catch some fish? Yes, sir. Great. I tell you, that's a good looking suit you're wearing, man. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, frog dogs have got a suit for whatever you do. I tell you, where's that nephew of yours? 
I don't know. He's probably on his cell phone texting his girlfriend. So what'd you tell her? You gonna miss it? Yeah, next time you need to find one that likes fish. Frog talk. Whatever you do, there's a frog talk suit for you. Welcome back to Tea Time. We've been talking to Amber and Brittany, and Brittany has been telling us her story of how she got to the UGA campus here in Tifton. And um, Brittany, before we went to break, you kind of told us a little bit about going to ABAC and how you failed three semesters because your mother had passed away. And then you had to go back and you had to basically make straight A's mm -hmm. because you wanted to go to the UGA campus here in Tifton. Now, what made you want to go there? Um, I believe that the University of Georgia is one of the highest quality schools, colleges in our state. And it's specifically in my degree, I knew that I would get the best education at UGA. Um, I didn't have the option of going to Athens. Um, that wasn't, my husband and I couldn't pick up everything that we had and, and and transition our lives to, um, to Athens. And so I was so grateful that there was a campus here in Tifton. There are only two colleges in the state of Georgia that have um, degrees in agricultural education. Really? Wow. Um, and so I wanted a UGA diploma. I wanted a UGA degree. And um, it was everything that I thought it would be. Um, it was worth all the extra work. I had to spend an extra semester at ABAC. Um, that I didn't plan on having to spend just to raise my GPA, but it was it was worth it. I got the best quality education that I could have um, at UGA. Now, when we went to break, y'all were talking about when you first went to the campus mm -hmm. h here in Tifton that you actually met Amber. Mm -hmm. Well, it was actually at ABAC. Um, she was oh, my was that ABAC? she was okay. my advisor at ABAC in Ag Ed, um, and I remember coming in. After um, I decided I was going to come back to school and I applied to ABAC and I got accepted. Um, so I came in to talk to her about the classes that I needed to take and it looked so hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, there was so much work that had to be done. Um, and um, Amber, because Amber had majored in, in Agate, also she knew the path that I needed to take and the courses that I needed to take. And um, so she was able to direct me and help me get um, get to UGA and I think that's kind of what makes the UGA Tifton campus what it is because they know exactly what you need. It's not um, it's not a guessing game. It's not you don't get to your last semester and, and think oh well I hope I can graduate this semester because they have planned everything out for you. Um, now you still have to do the work but it's you know it's there's someone there to support you. So I was really glad when I got to UGA and she was there. <laughs> it helped me. It's like y'all started out together and y'all ended yeah. together. Actually, this class that just graduated, almost every single one of them, we they started as freshmen at ABAC when I was there and I advised them till they transferred. And about the time they transferred was whenever I took a position at UGA. And so we went through all four years together. Mm -hmm. So it was it was very emotional for me at graduation to say oh, goodbye it was. to it's these like students. Your kids growing right, up, right? Yeah. Because I saw them from their very first day of college to their very last day of college. So yes, very very touching. Well, I have to say that I admire you. Oh, well. for the obstacles that you have come through, mm -hmm. um, starting out, um, I guess after your father left, and mm -hmm. low self esteem to um, meeting a teacher who gave you that ambition. So kudos mm -hmm. to him. Yeah, and I, I think um, in everything, I, I just I thank the Lord because He knew exactly what I needed, and um, He put me exactly where I needed to be. And when I trusted Him the most was when, when everything worked out. Um, he He directed my footsteps, um, just like He promised me He would. So. Well, congratulations. Mm -hmm. And now, Amber, can you tell us? Is it? I mean, you can still apply yes. online yes, for the, classes for the fall. That's right. Um, uh, the application is online, and the deadline is July 1st, so uh, it's not too late for the, for the Tifton campus. Um, the Athens campus deadline has already passed, but if students are interested in applying to the Tifton campus, you have 60 hours, 2.8 GPA, apply by July 1st. And the website? Tifton.uga.edu. And phone number? 229-386-3528. Thank you girls for being on the show today. Y'all did a great job and I really enjoyed your story and 
what a, a, a great story for someone who may be listening to this who might have the desire to do what you've come through. So thank you again for being on the show and thank you for watching Tea Time and we'll see you next time right here on Plant Tip Nets Wiregrass Channel 3.